What's up guys, it's Nikki here and welcome to another tutorial! 2020 was not so lucky so far so I decided to show you how to build the legendary Aku Aku mask for some extra protection. I was a huge fan of Crash ever since the original game came out in 1996 and I still keep playing it even though it's one of the most nerve consuming games ever made. You hear me naughty dog, but I love you. I love you. My main material is going to be high density EVA foam, but I will put a list of every single product I use in the video description down below along with a blueprint you can download for free. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. For this video I use my blueprint I drew a year ago, but I digitalized everything for you, so you just have to print it out. In this case we are using 10mm high density EVA foam. I store my foam in drawers, so first I'm gonna apply some heat to flatten it out. Then I pin down my pattern, trace it on the foam and then cut it out with a sharp box cutter. After I cut everything out, I mark all the bevels I'm going to cut off later. But I already included these in the pattern, so you don't have to worry about it. It's completely okay if you don't get it perfect. We are going to sand everything smooth with our Dremel. For the nose, I'm using 5mm EVA foam. First trace it, cut it out and don't forget to cut out the middle part. Next apply some contact cement. Remove the excess with a piece of foam and then leave it to dry. And when it's not tacky anymore, simply close the seam. That way it will hold its form. After we sanded everything, all the chunky pieces became silky smooth. After I was done with everything, I decided to redo the eyes, but don't worry, I included both in the patterns. I cut them out and sanded them. And much better. Now I'm going to mark where the mouth will go. This is very important because the face will get a wood texture everywhere except on the mouth. Next I'm marking where I'm going to score the foam. The more random the lines are, the more natural it will look, so don't stress this. Now I'm also marking the teeth. After I scored everything with my blade, I'm using my heat gun to open these scored lines. The heat opens up the lines and makes them more visible. That way it adds a good amount of detail to your work. Only thing left is to finish the nose. Trace it on a piece of foam, apply some glue on both pieces, 
leave them to dry and then just glue them together. After that, remove the excess and send it smooth. And the face was done. We can move on to the feathers. For this I use 2mm high density EVA foam. I traced everything, cut it out with a sharp scissor and then mark them in the middle so I know where the wiring will go. I also marked some small triangles I cut out later. Next I'm taking this black cable, cut it into size and place them on the leaves. Then I glue it in place. I applied some heat to make the middle part more visible. So the only thing left is to prime everything and in this case I'm using the flexible spray primer from Maston which works just like regular plaster dip. But before I move on, I like to take my quick seal to fill up some ugly gaps. Next I apply 3 thick layer of my spray primer on every single piece. After it was all dry, I painted everything with my airbrush. Of course you can use regular brushes as well, but airbrushing is just so much more efficient and much faster as well. After I was ready with the paint job, I used a satin spray varnish. The spray varnish is really important, not just because it looks good and it brings out the colors, but it also protects your paint job. After everything was dry, I just glued on the pieces with some hot glue and it was all done. On the left you can see my brand new mask I already gave away and on the right you can see my old one I made a year ago. As you can see it's a simple project you can finish in one day so if you have a day off and don't know what to craft or just need a new prop to your crash cosplay try out this mask. This mask or that one. I'm also going to make a series of these cool one day projects so if you don't want to miss any just subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you liked it and see you next time. Bye guys!
Grupo Gal.